Hey guys, happy Sunday. I uh, hope you're enjoying your Sunday today. Um, I'm making this video now for uh, to explain to you guys what I've been doing uh, while this issue with the props has been going on, while we've been waiting for the B props. All right, let me bring you guys a little bit closer. All right, these are the B props. Let me make sure that you can see. The B props. All right. See where they broke. You know, some guy on YouTube, you know, he, he's staying, saying that, uh, oh, I have no issues. I find it hard to believe that these things are breaking. Uh, Horizon uh, did their research, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you might have over tightened it. Listen, man, you know, I know how to tighten the screw down. You know what I mean? I, I you know, I, I, <laughs> I, have, you know, I know how to work on cars. I know how to tighten the screw down. Just put it that way. I'm not an idiot. Okay. I understand if I over tighten it. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. But th this is not the case. I'm very careful with over tightening the screws, especially, you know, because of this situation. I'm afraid to over tighten it, so I'm very gentle with it. You know, so. I'm going to show you what happens with a regular prop. I have a bunch of props here. Let me show you real quick. The sacrifice one. All right, here's a regular prop, not a B, a regular brand new prop. All right, I'm going to slap it on there. Okay, here we go. My name is Joe Dirt. I don't know how to tighten down a screw. I'm going to grab a screw and, uh, you know. <laughs> Tighten down the crap out. Let me see what happens when I over tighten it. All right. You know, I haven't applied no pressure. I'm using my my fingertips. But if I over tighten it, okay, let's over tighten and see what happens. I'm gonna over tighten the crap out of these. Okay, that's really snug. That's really snug. Okay. I mean, it's on there. It's tight. There's no play. It's not going anywhere. Blah blah. Now, let me take it out and see if I caused any damage to these props, which I did notice that over tightening, which I did do that mistake at the beginning when I replaced my buddy's uh, props. I noticed if you over tighten it just a little bit, it, they break. But, you know, you shouldn't have to be so careful with these things. Look, I didn't cause any damage. I guess I didn't go tight enough. There's really no damage there done, you see? But I noticed that they do break, they fall apart real easy. But I didn't cause any damage on this one. On the B prop, you know, it, it has more, you know, material there. So even if you do tighten it up a little bit more than usual, it, it shouldn't collapse that easy. You know what I mean? It should be on there snug. Believe me, I did not over tighten any of these. All right. So what I did while I was waiting for this is apply some epoxy. Somebody talked about putting epoxy on it. I said, you know what, let me try it. Now, the first time I did it, you know, I just threw it in there. I used some cheap epoxy, whatever, five minute epoxy. You know, you can see where I put it. I put it in the area where they were breaking off. All right, basically what Horizon has done now. They just reinforced that area right there with the epoxy, okay? <clears throat> um, after maybe, I don't know. I think it was like maybe 10 flights, 12 flights. <clears throat> Bam. Broke off. Look where it broke off from. Because the epoxy couldn't hold it. See? But it came off right from there. That's where it broke off. Where they all break from. You see? So this epoxy really didn't hold. It lasted a little bit longer, but it just didn't bond good enough. So what I did is I used my... The, uh, this epoxy from uh, BVM. It's a pricey epoxy, not this one, but, you know, let's see, Aero Epoxy. This is the one I use on my jets, all right? BVM makes this one, Aero Epoxy. They have V Epoxy, Q, uh, Q Epoxy. They're all about the same strength. It's just one here, uh, cures faster, whatever. This one takes the longest to cure, so this is the hardest one. This thing turns into like steel. I mean, it gets hard and it does a tremendous, I mean, incredible bond. I mean, really good. So these are the props I was using while I was waiting for all these issues with the prop. And look, they're still intact. I have about, I say, a good 
almost 20 flights on them. You know, I wasn't too aggressive on the flights, but I did a few flights just to test it out, see if it would, uh, you know, break, and they're still on. I'm thinking is, you see, by doing this, you can't really over tighten, I mean, you still could over tighten anything, but even if you did, it's still gonna keep it nice and strong. Because this epoxy is, I mean, it's hard, it's really good epoxy, it's light, and it didn't, I was worried about the balance situation. That's what my main concern is. So I try to get it on there evenly and uh, not an issue at all. Uh, at first I did have like a little vibration. So what I did is when you install these, and I don't know if you guys had this issue yet, but if you notice there's a vibration with these props, okay? And when, if you do this, switch the holes around. You know you have two, uh, two sets of holes there so switch it around and when i did that the vibration went away completely i was like oh cool all right so that took care of that and like i said it's been flying with these props these are the original ones the thin ones the cheapy ones and it's been holding ever since you can see i, I laid it out nice and even smooth okay there's the one here's another one See, I made it my own B prop. <laughs> Just goofing off. B for, for bitch, excuse me. <laughs> but I goofing off with my buddies. I was like, you know, I came up with my own B prop. <clears throat> but uh, there it is. All right. Nice and even. You know, if you do this, make sure you do not put too much epoxy in the center because your hub has to go there. And I'll show you how I did it. <clears throat> All right, guys. I uh, wanted to do uh, set this up for you guys so you could see it really good. Hopefully you can. Um, I apply, I put the, uh, the tip of this thing of the trigger, right, the, the pointer right here and, and squeeze, see how the uh, stuff is mixing. It's going in through the uh, tip, you know, nice and gentle. And then basically let, you know, fill it in nice and gentle. Don't go crazy, you know, let it fill in by itself. You see, it's, it's going. Then I push it in with your finger, smooth it out, nice and you know even. And then clean, you know, clean after every time. Because you, you're trying to apply it nice and even is what you're trying to do and get it in there. You want to get it inside these cracks. Because now that they made the plastic a little bit thicker, now it's going to be a little harder to get in there. And you want to concentrate on that area where they're having the issue. So I'm going to put a little bit more. center part what I usually do is I grab a screwdriver like a Phillips head because remember you got the um, the center has that, that hub so you want to make sure when it dries it gives you enough I'm gonna have to use something else to get through there and clean it up <clears throat> but um <clears throat> that's what you need to do anything that fits through there <clears throat> you know do it, do it whichever way is best for you guys let me make sure you get it. See, now it's open. See? All right. Make sure you clean your tools up. Make sure you got, you know, paper towels. Use the latex glove best if you can. <clears throat> and now uh, I'll clean the edges around, you know. Clean as much as you can before it dries up because once it's dry, forget it. It's going to be really hard. I mean, you, get, you still get off, but it's just... Make sure because remember like I said this part of the motor right there see it gets bigger and the first time I did it I ran into that issue it was, it was hitting there so the prop wouldn't go all the way down so I, I had to uh, kind of uh, you know dremel it a little bit not even I, I think I used a screwdriver and um, what I did is see I went in there and just cleaned it up opened it up a little bit and got my shape and this screwdriver happened to work the best. So I'm going to do it now while it's wet. So I don't have to do it when it's uh, dry. See, nice and even. Still got to do a little bit of cleaning there. Around there, but. Which I'll do now. But you see what I'm saying, right? So there you are. 
there is there it is a B prop B B B B where's the B well it's there somewhere okay epoxy now when this dries this thing is going to be hard as a rock and believe me it's not it'll break somewhere else before it breaks there this stuff is really good I mean they, they, they have a lifetime warranty on this epoxy it's like it'll stay hard for you know very long time <laughs> all right guys if you have any questions anything else you know I'll uh, post some video I'm gonna put these back on I'm gonna fix that quad put these on and I'm gonna beat the crap out of it I'm gonna fly very aggressive and uh, see what happens all right I'm gonna do this for you guys I'm going uh, to risk another quad again, breaking. Actually, I'm going to probably glue that one because if it goes down, then I don't have to, you know, be so upset. But uh, I'm going to do that and really put, you know, pressure on them and really test them out. All right. And if you guys that haven't had an issue, oh, my, uh, you know, my quad is flying fine. I don't know. Maybe you have super props. Maybe you have, like, props that, you know, from out of space. Or maybe you're just a lucky guy, or maybe you're just not flying enough. But believe me, they are cheap ass props. You know, the design sucks. You shouldn't have to worry about how tight it is. You know, you should. Be, it's supposed to be fun, easy to, you know, change out, and you know, not uh, you have to get a, a, a torque uh, gauge to make sure you torque it just right. You know, what I mean, it's ridiculous. But anyway, this will at least prevent you from over tightening it, even if you do, because the epoxy won't let it. Uh, you know. Won't let you crush the plastic anymore. All right, boys. So if you have any questions, just uh, post it on the comments there, and uh, I'll try to respond as soon as possible. All right, man. Good luck. Talk to you guys later. Peace.